Good morning, happy Monday. Welcome to another vlog. Today I'm starting off the week with a nice scenic run. I actually drove down to the Marina District. I'm just gonna run down Marina Boulevard, which will eventually lead me closer to the Golden Gate Bridge. As someone who has grown up and lived in San Francisco their entire life, sometimes I feel like I take the city for granted. It's a small but big city, and there are definitely a lot of places to go and see, especially go and run. So I'm switching things up a little bit. It's actually pretty nice on this side of the city so I'm happy about that. For the past few months it's been way nicer in this city than it usually is I feel like. I think I got a little used to that, a little spoiled so today when I woke up and saw that it was just completely foggy and even yesterday too I was kind of bummed and unmotivated but it's okay. It's definitely looking a lot brighter out. Good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. Just about 10 a.m. I haven't really done much today besides going to walk with Elvis. All I really need are my airpods and my phone. And my keys. Oh my god. A little life hack. If you're planning on driving to where you're gonna run and you need to keep your keys with you and you don't want to bring your entire keychain, I suggest attaching your car key to a safety pin. That way if you don't have pockets, you can well what I like to do, I'll stick it right on my sports bra. Like right here. And I'll tuck the key in. It's nice and secure. Today I have leggings that have pockets, so I'm just gonna stick that right there. Alright, I'm gonna go now. Touch a bit and then get to running. <gasps> Ooh, I'm back from my run. Oh my god. Oh, that is so juicy. So good. Mmm. I haven't had a peach, or is this a peach? Nectarine? I don't know. Haven't had one of these in so long, but I found them in our fridge. <sighs> Just got back home from the run and it was great. Solid, almost five miles, I think. Beautiful view, even though Carl, Carl the Fog was like draping over the Golden Gate Bridge and covering half of it. It was still really nice to be in that part of the city. There's always so many other people who are running, biking, and just being active, which I love. I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I think we're gonna go for a big salad. Salad. We get these salad kits from Costco. These are so good. This one's my favorite. It's a sweet kale one, and it comes with like a poppy seed dressing. Grab a handful of that. Number two. Gonna also have a glass of kombucha. This is the pink lady apple one. Oh, this flavor is so good. That over some ice. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, eating lunch, watching some Yes Theory. Guys, if you've not watched their channel before, oh, their videos are so good, so well produced. They're just so creative and they give me so much motivation. Yeah, go watch it. Good morning. Uh, it is Tuesday and I've just had the most productive. I feel like I've just been I've just been on a roll this morning. I did a bunch of cleaning around the house, cleaned my car, I went to Phil's, grabbed myself a big cup of coffee, just uploaded a video. So we're doing great this Tuesday. Really quickly, I want to give a huge shout out to Native for sponsoring this week's video. So Native is a natural deodorant brand, and when I say natural, I mean it is aluminum free, paraben free, sulfate free. All of that good stuff. So speaking on a more personal level, when I work out and when I sweat and all that, I don't usually smell, like I don't have really bad BO. I don't know if that's TMI or anything, but when I do wear deodorant, I would prefer something more natural as an alternative to something you would find at the drugstore. I love the selection of scents that they have on their site. These are just a couple of them. Here I have coconut and vanilla, cucumber and mint, and lavender and rose. This one, lavender and rose, is probably my favorite. When it comes to perfumes and deodorants, I prefer sort of a florally sweet scent, so the lavender rose is definitely nice. It's very fresh, subtle, 
perfect for me. Ah, uh, so good. If you guys are interested in making that switch into a more natural deodorant, definitely check out Native. I'll leave my link down below. And if you use my code Chris Huey, you can get three of these for $24 as opposed to three of them for, I believe, like 36 or something. So you are saving a little bit of money, definitely more expensive than what you would find at a drugstore. But I do think that the fact that it's natural, that it has a great selection of scents, it is worth it. Again, if you're interested, I got that deal for you. Having a few of them is nice because I can just leave one here at home, throw one in my gym bag, take one with me when I travel. It's all good. You'll be ready to freshen up wherever you go. But yes, thank you to Native for partnering with me on this video. Here we go. Don't look at my bits. Got that lavender rose all up in there. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and how convenient. It matches what I'm wearing today. So it's been a little bit of time. Today I've just been doing a lot of work on my computer. Um, I was editing a lot earlier this morning, finishing up emails. Now I'm revisiting my resume, which I put off for a very, very long time. I guess I started reworking it around two months ago and then I kind of put a hold on it, especially since I was finishing out my last semester of college. But yeah, as summer is progressing and I spend more and more days at home just kind of doing what I usually do, I've just come to the realization that I need to continue working on this. So right now I'm just reformatting it, rewording, researching. I haven't had an updated resume in quite some time because my job for the past four years or so has just been social media, YouTube, Instagram, that sort of thing. I didn't have to submit a resume for that. I just, I just did it. So I don't know how soon, but eventually I'm slowly in the process of looking for jobs and just seeing what's out there for me because I know for a fact I want to be out in the workforce and doing something. Luckily, I have a couple mentors who have been helping me out and have just given me tips and advice on how to go about this because um, unfortunately, I didn't take the time in college to learn about this. I'm sure that on campus there were definitely workshops on how to create a good resume and how to do your research on jobs and all that sort of stuff. But your girl didn't take advantage of those resources, which I'm slightly regretting now, but it's okay. Networking, that is what's gonna get you through in adulthood. If you're interested, I'm using Canva, which is a great site because they have all these templates set out and you can just kind of choose from them and then you can insert your own information. It makes it super easy and it also gives it a little nice creative touch. Good morning, you guys. It is actually Friday, so I haven't vlogged in the past two days. I've just been really busy, actually. I uploaded twice this week. If you haven't watched my latest videos, go watch them now. Right now, it's just about 9.30, and I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna hop onto an Instagram Live, and it's going on outside in the living room, so I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, I've been up since 6.30, but I'm just now getting my day started, so. Anyways, good morning. Exciting stuff happening. It's my grandma's birthday, so we'll be celebrating later today. Let me get my stuff for class. I think, oh, my water just spilled on my camera. Uh-oh. Right arm across your chest right now. Come on. I did, I promise. Please, come on. Please, come on. Try to work out in a bun today. Yeah, you never stay in a bun.
it's been a busy morning had my morning workout made this card for my grandma which i'm about to give her right now because she just got here we're just gonna have lunch here at the house and then i think she's going to her friend's house afterwards so good for her we get to go pick up some like appetizer things to munch on and then also a cake so yeah let's go say happy birthday <laughs> So it is Saturday. <laughs> Caught myself there. Yesterday was really great seeing my grandma. I honestly like it's so crazy to me that she actually just turned 80 yesterday and it just blows my mind because she looks so young still and I'm just like praying that I age as well as she does. I posted like a video and a photo of us on my Instagram story yesterday and so many people responded to it. A lot of people use the number 50 and we're saying that she doesn't look a day over 50. She's so young drop the skincare routine asap and i'm like i know i know it blows my mind and i can't believe it but i'm just happy that we got to see her she's happy healthy and she has friends family that love her so much so happy birthday harmony if you're watching this which i think she does watch some of my videos <laughs> yeah we ate really good food had some cake and then i had more cake later at night so you know, I'm not mad about it. It was really good. But yeah, I'm gonna get... <sighs> yeah, I need to get my day started. I wanted to go running, but it's a little cold out. So I think we'll stay home. I want to show you guys some new workout clothes that I got because... Yeah, it's all from Outdoor Voices. I actually don't own anything from them. So these are like my first pieces from this company first thing that i'm actually wearing right now is this top and i love it because it's like a sports bra and a top in one or well it doesn't have um built-in padding or anything but it is very compressive and i mean i can get away with not wearing anything underneath i love how it's cropped obviously and then it has like a nice high neckline honestly i feel like i could wear this almost as like a normal shirt like it could definitely pass i got this in a small because on the website it said sizes four to six are small and that's usually what i am but i think i could have gone for medium but it's still like it's still fine it's comfortable i also got this sports bra which i love the back is super cool because it's got like mesh detailing on the back has the little band that says outdoor voices it's just a simple racer back sports bra i can't have enough of those there's matching leggings for this but i think they switched up my order or something so i'm gonna have to figure that out but lastly i got this dress this is their exercise dress, which I know you're probably thinking like, why would you work out in a dress? Which I know, I'm thinking the same thing too. Basically, it's just like a nice, really slinky material and it's just is so comfortable. I'm sure it's like sweat wicking, all that. It's in this beautiful bright green color, which I think is so fun, especially for the summer. I haven't tried this on yet, but it looks like it's gonna be really short on me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yikes. But there are some built-in little shorts or like spandex underneath. So, you know, everything will be covered. Don't worry. Definitely wouldn't wear this to go lift weights or work out like that. But I have been going to the driving range for golf um, with my parents a lot more these days. So, I don't know. This could be something fun to wear. And it's always really warm when we go. I don't know a whole lot about the sport of golf and like what women golfers wear. But I'm pretty sure that they wear like exercise dresses like this or skirts or shorts whatever it obviously would pass it's just like a normal dress so i could wear this on the daily Ooh. i'll link these items for you if you're interested but yeah the quality is really good and i'm excited you guys know i'm obsessed with activewear i literally live in it so it's always nice having some new pieces all right so i haven't finished my workout yet but i decided today that i wanted to film something and i think i'm gonna post it on my instagram using this booty band that i recently got i got this from suzy b suzy b it was like 25 bucks she has so many different colors and designs on her site i just so happened to look at her site when she had all these neon ones on and i got this one i'm not sure if it's still available but you can check for sure i like this one because it has just like a lot of resistance and it's really good quality and this is perfect for all the booty work that i want to get done you know I'm really slacking in that department, so I want to work on just like 
building. I definitely want to incorporate more banded workouts, especially since I'm at home. I'll leave the workout here and you can also check it out on my Instagram. So it's much later in the afternoon. She just woke up from a nap. I've been taking so many more naps these days, which I don't know if that's a good idea because uh, I feel like I'm not as tired at nighttime and that causes me to go to sleep later. And I'm really trying to fix my sleep schedule, but what can you do? I'm gonna try and work for the rest of the day, edit, cause I have a few videos, uh, this vlog and then another video. I actually didn't do like a full workout like I was planning to. I pretty much just did that booty band workout twice through because i filmed it for instagram and then i ended up filming it for tiktok which i mean if you guys aren't following me on tiktok you can i feel like a lot of people say this where it's not that serious but for me literally i just kind of post randomly i mean it's it's just for fun i don't even have that many followers on there and only a few of my videos have actually done like decently well it's just something to do past the time like i don't hate on tiktok i gotta admit it is kind of addicting just scrolling through but i try to minimize that as much as possible i'd much rather have my screen time go towards my laptop and the work that i need to get done also i don't know if i've shown these before but these are blue light glasses that i got off of amazon since these ones these ones are my favorite i actually love these ones from key um oh actually i think i wiped them down the other day so they're not that bad i've had these for like over a year love the style of them and they're so big and they're really comfortable but literally both of the little things fell off definitely because i've just thrown them and tossed them around in all my bags and whatnot and i would repurchase them but these were really cheap and had decent reviews but i don't know i feel like it's just not my style <laughs> Alright you guys, so that is going to conclude this week's vlog. I hope that you enjoyed. I just finished editing this video last night and there's a lot. It's jam-packed. So if you made it to this point, comment. <sighs> I got it. Comment, I made it to the finish line if you're still watching, because then I'll know you're a real one. I would really hope that people stick around for the whole thing, but they get kind of long. I know, 20 minutes of your life is a lot to dedicate to watching my videos, so if you do, I really, really appreciate it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.